Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've got Luna on my knee, she's bouncing about like always. This cat just makes filming so difficult for me but I'm hoping that she maybe calms down and goes for a little sleep. So I'm back with a monthly favourites video. I haven't done one of these since January I don't think. You were in the last one, it was your introduction. Do you want to see how big she is now actually since then? She's like a proper cat now, <laughs> aren't you? Um, so I'm going to do some favourites here. Yeah, favourites videos are always very well received on my channel. I've moved back into my guest bedroom. Oh, furs everywhere. I've moved back into my guest bedroom. This used to be where I filmed all of my videos when I first started out YouTube. Well, not when I first started out because I've been on YouTube for years now and some of it was in London, pre-London, in London, post-London. Um, but I'm going to try and get back into it a little bit better now. But I have my guest best bedroom back. My uh, my guest bedroom slash studio is actually a proper guest bedroom now. And there was a guest in it for just over a year. So that's what was making filming quite difficult. Luna's hair is literally flying everywhere. I shouldn't have picked it up. Okay, let's cut all that and get into some favourite products. Uh, the first favourite product that I'm going to talk about is a fragrance. Um, and I actually, I think I might have spoke about another one of these fra fragrances in the January video, I'm not sure. But it is by Rido. By Rido are slowly but surely becoming my favourite fragrance brand. It's kind of like Pokemon, I feel like I've got to have them all. And um, this is Oud Immortal. Now I am a sucker for an Oud based perfume or fragrance simply because I love it when you walk into Knightsbridge or Harrods or even Selfridges. Sometimes when you're walking down Oxford Street in London and you just get that waft of Oud hit you as soon as you go out to one of those more swankier shops. That is life for me. That usually means that I'm about to drop some serious money on shoes or a handbag or something or sit down at an oyster bar, have a glass of champagne and oyster and then get some serious shopping done. Um, and I just love Oud. Oud Immortal is a, oh, I love it so much. It actually reminds me of Easter Sunday. We went out and had like a massive like sesh on Easter Sunday. It was the first time I'd wore this. And it really reminds me of it. It's funny how fragrances can trigger memories like that. Um, I love this simply because it's so heavy. Like if you're not a fan of a heavy fragrance, then this fragrance won't be for you. The other one that I have from Byredo is called Gypsy Water. It's much more light and feminine and floral. This is certainly an androgynous perfume or fragrance because I could see it on a man, I could see it on a woman, I could see it on anybody. Um, I really don't think this has a gender label, this fragrance. And I just love it. It smells like oud supposed to smell and I love the fact that it's called Immortal. Sometimes I like to pretend that I am the living dead immortal. But um, no, I actually really, really like this. It's very heavy. It's very much what you would expect from an oud fragrance. These are pricey. Um, well, it depends. I tend to drop a lot of money on fragrance because I'm selective. I don't have lots and lots of different fragrances, but the ones that I do have, I continuously go back to and um, I'll always get a big bottle. I don't know if they do a smaller bottle, but I read though, they do like little, little ones, but I don't think you can get a smaller than this. This is, uh, how many mils? 100, 100 mils and um, I think they're about £150 but you can get it in Selfridges and you can get it in Space NK if you're in Scotland and um, it was actually Space NK in Glasgow that I first smelled by Rideau. Um They have one called Bibliotech that I really want to get as well. So that is uh, my first fragrance, well my first favourite fragrance and the only fragrance in this favourite video but it's by Rideau. If you haven't checked them out they do a really cool thing as well if you're thinking well I'm not just going to make the assumption from online, um, but they do this thing, well, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm going to, they do this thing where you pay for a sample of every single one of the perfumes and you get this like taster box from the website, smell them all and then you choose like the big bottle that you want and they basically refund you the price of the samples against the bottle. My friend was telling me, I'll need to check it out. I'm going to link it all down below for you as well. But um, yeah, Biblio, no sorry, Byredo and I want Bibliotech. Byredo is a firm favourite fragrance house of mine now. I'm going to start with skincare. This is going to be a skincare heavy video. I love skincare, you guys know that. I'm a bit of a sucker for skincare. 
um, I'm going to talk about two Elemis products first of all. I have just recently been put on the Elemis PR list and they sent me this beautiful big care package and I've been using it for enough time now to think that I can judge how much of the package really worked for me and there's two things that I want to start off in this video because I've seen the most fast result from these two products. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. All the YouTubers and bloggers go mental for this. It's so beautiful. So you can see I've dug into this quite a lot. This is perfect for someone like me who constantly forgets to buy face wipes, cotton pads, all that stuff. It comes with a muslin cloth and you literally could come in with like full cake face like I have on right now. Put some of this on, just melt it into the skin, let it melt and then take the muslin cloth and it just cuts through this like butter. It's so luxurious, it's so silky, it leaves your skin feeling really fresh. You also like, if you put some water in it as well, it creates a little bit of a lather. Here we go, direction, smooth over face and neck gently, massage into skin, dampen and continue to massage, remove with warm damp cleansing cloth. Says if contact with eyes rinse, but I've been using it to take my mascara off. I really like it, it's cleansing balm, it's amazing, leaves your skin feeling amazing, it smells like that traditional heavy like um, spa scented lavender essential oil scent that Elemis does have. That is my first Elemis favourite and my second Elemis favourite is another one from the Pro Collagen range and it's the Pro Collagen Eye Renew Anti-Aging Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. I am not religious with eye creams, I don't continuously use them like a good girl before bed in the morning but with this one I have because I really want to trial it and the thing that I love the most about this Elemis um, eye cream is that it's a kind of gel based cream whereas before was like I used to wear uh, Kiehl's creamy avocado quite a lot and it's quite a heavy cream sometimes I feel like heavy creams don't work on my eyes I've got very temperamental sensitive eyes um, I have a lot of gripes with my skin. I'm sure you guys, if you've been here a lot, know that, but I suffer quite badly from breakout psoriasis, pustular psoriasis, just normal psoriasis, eczema, derm dermatitis, all sorts of nice things. Poor me gets. But uh, touch wood, I actually have had perfect skin on my eyes for, oh, I want to say maybe like six months now. Um, so yeah, I've not had any eye problems in a while. I'll get the odd thing if I wore an eyelash glue that doesn't agree with me. But I love this because, as I said, it's a gel. Um, you literally just tap it on the way you would with an eye cream. But it leaves my eyes feeling very fresh and awake and not, like, sometimes I think creams can make them feel, like, kind of clogged, if that makes sense. The skin, it's just too much on the skin. If a cream doesn't sink in, a water kind of based gel product works a little bit better for me. Um, it's a little bit pricey because when I said to my friend that I really like this, both of us were kind of checking it out and she was asking what one it was and I was like, oh, so that's £65. So if you're a serious skincare junkie, then it's one to check out. If you um, if you think that you'd rather go in and speak to somebody at Elemis first of all to see if this would um, be the eye cream for you because remember, everyone's skin's different. What's worked for me won't necessarily work for the next person then I would go and have a consultation simply because it's a little bit pricier but it's working wonders for me. I actually don't have any eye wrinkles but this is the best way to fight things like that is by prepping. I, I, I was actually going to go into the conversation that it's better to start young but I don't think I can be classed as young anymore. I'm in my late 20s. It's not long until the big 3 -0. Not this year but next. And um... I need to continue to use anti-wrinkle products but this has really worked for me and I love the way that it makes my skin feel and I feel like my eye makeup actually goes on better with it as well. So this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Renewal. So the next brand that I'm going to speak about have been kind enough, they sent me the first care package, um, God, uh, start of the year now and um, it's, I can never say this right, I think it's Siolista Beauty. And they do these really cool sheet masks. So I love sheet masks. I'm a big, big fan of the Garnier Moisture Balm. Is that what they're called? They are great. I've tried the Soap and Glory ones and they made me react really, really bad. I had to take it off instantly and like wash my face. But that's just because my skin is so temperamental. 
Teolista sent me so many different ones. I've got loads lying on the bed right now, but the one that I seriously, seriously loved, and because they know I loved it so much, they sent me a big care package of just the, these ones, is the Charcoal Ghee Tox Instant Facial Naturally Derived Bamboo Mask Infused with Charcoal and Volcanic Ash. Free skin from toxins, impurities, rich in mineral to deep cleanse, hydrate the skin and helps to refine skin and minimise pore size. Which, if you were a picker when you were younger like I was, is the sort of mask that I need. I like it because it's black as well, it's not just your traditional sheet mask, it is jet black. Which I quite like so you can imagine how scary I look with these. Um, perfect to travel with, the little aeroplane there, I do go on aeroplanes more than I would like to actually. Um, and new Korean innovation and it's infused with 25 mils of serum. So Korean skincare is still this big, big trend. Everyone's still mad on that. Um, so a lot of skincare at the minute is is proposing that it has Korean purposes. Um, so that doesn't really mean anything to me, but the infused with 25 mils of serum is great because you know how much serum's going to be in it and they are very juicy, like it's not dry. Just be careful with when you're taking it out. I um, do it at night time in your pajamas. And uh, they're paraben free, mineral oil free, which is good, no sulfates and no artificial colour. Uh, they work in 20 minutes and they're great just to put on if you're watching the TV at night, if you're just taking your makeup off, if you've got a big event. These are really, really great. I absolutely love these. So I loved that when they sent me the first package. But last night, I got home to this package last night. And last night uh, I had really sore feet coming in because um, I had had a big event in Manchester on Tuesday and I had some killer heels on and they were hurting my feet so in true Daniel style I decided to take them off and run through Manchester barefoot for maybe a couple of hours um, and my feet were absolutely disgusting. I may or may not insert a pretty bougie photo right now of me drinking a glass of champagne with jet black feet, depending on, no, in fact, I'm not inserting it, actually. I might put it on my Insta stories. You can follow me on Instagram at Danielle Roberts MUA if you're not already, and you might see that photo when this video goes up. Um, so my feet were pretty sore. And the Solista Beauty sent me this. Rosie Toast, now I've used it, so it's open, but I had to save the packaging to show you. This is an instant pedicure, a double layer foot treatment infused with rose oil, aloe vera, and beeswax. Helps to restore and revitalize neglected feet. And my feet are neglected, my friends will tell you. I get nothing but absolute abuse about my feet. And it soothes, hydrates, cracked skin, Nails, cuticles, perfect spa treatment and home. It's Korean innovation again. It's infused with 18 mils, travel friendly. That is great for a plane actually because I actually get really sore ankles and feet on a plane. And basically it's a double layer of hydration booties and so they have like a nice little kind of cloth lining which is soaked in serum and it's like a plastic bag boot and then you, you strap it around your ankle and you leave it on for half an hour and listen, I thought there was no saving my tired tootsies. I'm a makeup artist, we stand up all day, every day. I took my feet out of them, they smelled amazing, my skin was soft, everything felt supple. I absolutely cannot rave about this product enough. I am going to purchase an abundance of these because these are amazing. So if you're on your feet all day or like you're having like a girly weekend and you want to do something like this, then this is amazing, so I'm going to link them below because this is actually probably my favourite thing now. I love the charcoal mask as well, but this is my favourite thing I've used from Solista Beauty. My last skincare product that I'm going to talk about is a cleanser and it's by It Cosmetics. Um, so I got this when I was in Ibiza and it's a confidence in a cleanser for all skin types. Skin transforming, hydrating, cleansing, serum, anti-aging armour. It's a cleanser. I don't get excited about cleansers and I'm featuring two in this video. This is so nice. It leaves your skin refreshed. It says gently massage into wet skin for 30 seconds every morning and evening. I've never been using it every morning and evening. I've been using it after I take my makeup off and I want to wash any extra residue off my face. 
Uh, rinse and pat dry, skin is left feeling soft, nourished and perfectly balanced. Follow your favourite It Cosmetics treatment or moisturiser. I've used It Cosmetics um, Confidence in a Cream once because my friend had it and uh, I really, really loved it but then I just haven't purchased it yet. But this is amazing. It just makes the skin so fresh. It's a lovely cleanser. And I really want to try more from It Cosmetics, but what I've tried so far, I really, really like. And this cleanser just leaves my skin feeling fresh. I just don't like anything that leaves it really heavy or like with a greasy residue on it. But this doesn't. It's super fresh and it's lovely. I think it's actually a really good cleansing, um, like a cleanser if you have maybe like a teenage daughter. She's starting to get into skincare. You don't want to drop a bomb on it, but um, you want to introduce her to like really quality products. For me, that would be the cosmetics cleanser. Now the fun stuff, some makeup. I know what you all came for, the palettes. I've got two palettes to feature today. The first palette I'm going to feature is the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. So we had a flash sale of this online. Mine's has been through the war. I got this in California and I've done shoots with the editorial. So I've, I've nearly actually finished some of the eyeshadows. So it's pretty grubby. It has been really well loved already. Uh, the Born to Run palette, I done a video on it and put it on my YouTube channel a wee while ago. But the Born to Run palette has an amazing package and it's a really thin, sleek palette for Urban Decay. We usually do quite chunky components, very kind of razzle-dazzle. I like the fact that it's very artist-friendly, but more so it's travel-friendly, which I'm all about. You guys know that. Um, it's travel-inspired as well. The thought process behind this palette, and you can tell that from the, the packaging, the packaging is all photographs that our product development team in California had actually taken. I think by one of them, one of them maybe is somebody from L'Oreal, but this is actually all their photographs to show that they, they're like wonderlust females or wonderlust um, guys and gals and they're out there living their best lives. They love to travel, they love to have an adventure. But what we always found was that we would have to take a million palettes. I don't know if you ever agree, but if you're going, you never take just one palette. I have revolutionised that with the Born to Run palette. I only take the Born to Run palette now. It just has every bloody colour I could ever need. It's got green, blue, pink, warm, neutral, black, white, like base colour, pinks, bright orange, coral, mint. Copper, brown, I can do my eyebrows with good as gone. Like this palette has it all. And I've not been more excited about a palette at Urban Decay in a long time. The Born to Run really has everything I need in it. Um, look, if you are scared of colour and you don't like to go down the route of brown, uh, sorry, of if, if greens and pinks and whatever else, look at these as rows, look at them as quads, break that palette up if you're stuck. There's so many amazing reviews online for this palette at the minute. Now, however, it hasn't been released yet nationally. It's releasing on the 2nd of August nationally, but you can currently buy it online and in freestanding Urban Decay stores. This is the perfect eyeshadow palette for you when you're on the go, day to day, if you want to do a naked look, if you want to do a colourful look. Um, it just really has been a great palette to play with. I actually shot a campaign in California for this palette and I can't wait to show some of the editorial shots that i done um, with the amazing Jordan Liberty. And um, I actually also filmed a little tutorial with it in California, which I should be able to share with you all soon. So first makeup palette is Urban Decay Born to Run. I actually lie, I've got three makeup palettes to show you, I just realised. Uh, two highlighter palettes though, so this is the first highlighter palette and it is the MAC. Yes, I said MAC. When do I ever bloody feature MAC? MAC Hyper Real Glow. I never put MAC products on my channel because I don't buy a lot of MAC products. I actually have MAC Pro discount and never use it. Um, why do I not use MAC anymore? I... I just don't see the need. I really love Urban. Urban, my freelance kit, my work kit obviously is 100% Urban, but my freelance kit, 90% Urban I would say. Um, I just never really got back on the MAC train. But as I was passing through um, Dublin Airport the other day, I was like, let me just go and see what's, what's new here. Let me just spend some money. And... Uh, I actually went in for something else that I'm going to show you because this is a project that I do really love by MAC. 
and ended up buying a foundation uh, palette and the other thing and I was just I was just going to pay for the foundation and the other thing and I seen this at the till and I thought god that's actually really nice uh, and I needed a nice new highlighter and highlighter is fun to buy isn't it so this is the hyper real glow this is a golden one I don't know if it's got an actual name though um, no details on the back which I thought was a bit sketchy um, this is it I thought good size highlighters I love a MAC highlighter, I'm a big soft and gentle fan. I think they're really smooth, I don't think they're chunky on the skin, I think they melt really nicely. I actually have uh, this one on today, I've actually filmed this look as well, I just don't know what one's going to go up first. This one and this one I really like, this one more so is an eyeshadow, but it's just a really sleek, nice highlighter palette and caught my eye, had the magpie effect and I bought it, I can't remember how much it was, it was in euros, but of course I will link it below. It's gorgeous, I love a MAC highlighter, and yeah, maybe I'll start buying more MAC. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about another highlighter palette I forgot. So this is the Urban Decay Afterglow, but not as you know it. This is, what's the difference with this one? I can't remember, there is a difference name. So you might remember the pink one. There was a pink one, I can't see the name on this one, this one's got a different name. Um, but the pink one, was the UK one. I've got a feeling this might be a US exclusive but it's just those different kind of warmer afterglow colours and the afterglow palette was just such a big hit for me. I used it all the time. I used it until it was done. I don't have it anymore. Um, but this is the orange one I think. Oh this one's called ONS which stands for One Night Stand. So this is the One Night Stand Afterglow Urban Decay palette. I got it in America and if it's a UK, if it's a US exclusive, I'll link it below the US website for all you UK guys because they do ship to UK, I'm sure. But it has this beautiful kind of heat colour to it. I've maybe swatched them, maybe not. I'm going to swatch them for you. I'm going to do it like a, a true influencer. Now that I'm back on YouTube, let me do this. You're going to see my horrible fake tan of this. I need to swatch it for you. So it has a pink in it as well, and that's what I loved about the other one. It has a really nice pink. And then a really kind of white gold called No Angel, which if you're a Sin fan by UD, then you'll be all about that No Angel life. So I'll just swatch them for you. You see this? I'll bring it up close. Look at my horrible disjointed arm. I can do it. Yeah, they, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. Urban highlights are... That's why I like Urban Highlight as well as MAC Highlight, because... um. Urban are so good at doing a highlight that again doesn't sit on the skin, it really melts into the skin. So that's it for the palettes. Now I'm going to show you two sprays. So I got, I'm going to shake it and wake it. I got the MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. Now I love Fix Plus, always have, always will. It's not a setting spray, it's a hydration spray, it's more like a prime, it just kind of fixes things and gives them a bit of a glow, a bit of a hydration and boost for me. This one has, it looks like pink opal pigment through it for me, which is amazing. And it gives like a really nice like soft mist, like shiny glow. And I'm all about a shiny glow. Um, anything that makes me look like I'm glowing from within. So I super, super like this, but just be aware it's not a setting spray as much. What is a setting spray, however, is Urban Decay All Nighter. So for me, I would use this first, the Fix Plus, and then I would spray the All Nighter on top of it. And you might be thinking, that's not my product. That's been your favourites forever. That's always a Danielle favourite. You use it all the time. But uh, I just want you to take a little bit of a closer look at this one. Because uh, it says my name on it. Yep, that's right. This setting spray actually says my name on it. This was a personalised edition that was given to me for the UK summer solstice, which was the longest day of the year. I had a bomb time at the summer solstice party with some of the UK's biggest influencers. We partied the night away in a 19 and a half million dollar mansion. It was on the market, it was up for sale. I was thinking to myself, Mm -hmm. Is there a few handbags I could sell to buy this place? Well, joke. But um, it was really cool. It had a bowling alley, a swimming pool. We were there celebrating, like, putting all-nighter through torture tests. 
So like making sure that all night are set and spray had your back like from the start of the longest day of the year to the end of the longest day of the year after cocktails, after bowling, after silent disco, after you name it. And hey, we all looked pretty fierce at the end of the night. Pretty tipsy, but pretty fierce. But this was just so cool that I finally got a little setting spray with my name on it. I actually have two now. I have one that the UK team gave me and I have one that the US team gave me. So I'll need to make some Danielle friends and I can maybe give someone one. Guys, that is it for the favourites. I'm so glad that I'm back on YouTube trying to get into this stuff again. I'm sure I've said it in the tutorial for this makeup look that I've shot today as well. I'm going to film one more video in this setup today. You'll be sick of seeing this leopard print shirt and pink lipstick combo. But um, thanks for watching. If you um, like favourite videos, this was always kind of the favourites of my channel like you guys always respond to favorite videos really well and people tell me those were the ones that they missed the most um comment down below do you want to see fashion do you want to see beauty do you want to see both do you want me to talk about trends a little bit more like i always like do so, so much trend reporting in my day-to-day -day job that i could certainly incorporate that here so let me know thanks for watching thanks for listening to me harp on and i'll see you in the next video